So it begins with the form <coughs> of the self-conscious. <coughs> it begins with the form. Delta is the form. E equals mc squared delta. Where delta is the form of the string which can change shape and retain mass. It's not it's the reason for frequency. It's frequency is a result of the mass, light, and form. But not the form of the shape as we know it, the form. which lays the groundwork for the matter to coalesce in the way that it does. Then in addendum, form is measured by the presence and absence of functionality. For what I see as a time duration, the presence and absence within that time duration, so for a one minute, say, ten minute time duration, if it's present for nine minutes in a form and absent for a minute, you can only measure the energy of a moment. The energy is the perceived energy in a duration, perceived duration. So, of the perceived duration of 10 minutes, you can perceive this set amount of energy in joules based, not that the energy, not that there's not more energy there, there's more energy there, but you can you only perceive e amount of it because if the form is not in a way that is helping you, if it's working in an entropic way, entropy, as opposed to empathically, empathic, it is absent. And if it is entropic, it is absent. That is what causes the depression, causes depression, ultimately, I think. And it's entropy and empathy and the balance of the two to maintain a healthy amount of energy. And we can increase in any direction and maintain health. Empathy, em, empathy it's like a mixture of the two. Entropy is uh, the absence of, so it would be a ratio, presence to absence. And that ratio within the duration of 10 minutes, if it's 9 minutes, then it would be a 9 to 10, 9 to 1 ratio, or a 9, nine tenths duration, 9 tenths ratio, 9 over 10, point 0.9, which would factor into the equation, point 0.9 multiplied by mass in kilograms, and light speed squared in a vacuum, which is a constant. And you would see the potential energy of the system for that duration. The perceived potential energy but it's not accounting for all of the energy because there's energy that's there's all energy all time. So we can only lock it down into a, a function with this equation, and that's what we perceive as reality. <laughs> now, the way we perceive this is binarily the brain 
function, the way it, it grasps things in chunks, in tiny chunks that, that the brain perceives as presence of. Like looking through a screen door, you see 40% of it. You see some of it, the brain fills in the rest. It just takes tiny little quantified moments of this ocean, this ocean of existence that's there. And it quantifies, which is to give quantity to, in a moment. And it does that by supercomputing ones and zeros. One is the presence of, and there's no more words that I could use to make that more of an effective statement, the presence of one, absence of zero, and it fills in this picture from the bottom up, from the ground up, from the beginning out, however however it's most effective, it'll, it'll become more effective. Einstein developed this theory in 1905. And we've seen a lot smaller things since then. And he died in 1955, and we've seen a lot smaller things since then. So they have, scientists and we, I, have a better idea of how it's moving at that level the vibration and the function. <laughs> I don't want to take credit for the ideas because it comes out of all of our minds. Like I looked at that last video and realized like I, I was just looking and staring at the camera for like, it looked like I was like, blah, 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 like I was being a puppet and essentially my body, I wasn't using my body's stuff really, I was just like existentially communicating these ideas existentially like exit like it's exiting the, the stencil portrait of reality existential exit structure. All right, I'm very interested still in the way the brain, I'm really interested in two things. One is how this will affect the way we live to accept this concept as a scientific theory because if people understand the form of the situation. They can let it be what they want it to be. You can let it be what you want it to be. Physics is really open-ended and every theory can be expanded on. And if our minds are open, we can all expand on all the theories and fix it so it's working right. I think maybe that's the job of humanity. Access the form. Maybe I'll do more, but... Access the form. And then I say maybe I'll I do I'll do when I talk after that I uh, disrupt that possibility for one two uh, life is a big equation putting this together is a big equation I'm sorry that I lost your train there because it was my training, because it's essentially the form of the situation was like, uh, focus on the form. This can be proven mathematically. I'll do it.
saying that I would be the one to record that was this ego wanting to be the best pilot of the egos that are all piloting together. I don't... The word don't has no place here. Someone will prove it mathematically. I'll explain it as best I can in casual terms because I think astrophysics and science, high-end science, tends to pull away from the norm, normal way of communication. I really want to bridge that gap.